These fishermen have just caught a fish. But look, there are two familiar little animals coming out of the fish's nose. Yep, like the pill bug or Raleigh Polly that we usually find, they are also a family of isopods. But they live in water, and what we will discuss here is the parasitic isopod. Cymathoida is a suborder of isopods with 2,700 species, almost all of which are parasites to other animals. They have various adaptations to their parasitic lifestyle. Look at this 2 mm copepod. Even though it is tiny, it already has parasites in its body. Then in these Coleman shrimp, they also have an isopod parasite on their body's protrusion. When we help shrimp that have parasites on their bodies, this is the isopods look like. Then the most common isopods use fish as their hosts. Some live in the fish's nose. Some stick to the fins or body of the fish. Some hide in the host's gills. And the most famous is the tongue-eating isopod. They become parasites by living in the fish's mouth and replacing the fish's tongue. Parasitic isopods suck the blood of their hosts slowly and constantly. Ironically, infected fish usually cannot do anything. They can only surrender even though they have been infested with many isopods at once. Parasitic isopods have an important role in the food chain, but still, if their numbers overflow, they will damage the ecosystem.